Hello and welcome to freephotoshop.com and this week's video tutorial looking at the lasso tools. Now we're going to be focusing on the standard lasso and the polygonal lasso tools inside this tutorial. For more information on the third lasso tool, which of course is the magnetic lasso tool, then you can check out two other tutorials available for free here at freephotoshop.com. The first one being Magnetic Lasso Tool The Essentials and the second one Magnetic Lasso Tool Taking Control, both available from links within the page that you're watching this tutorial on, if indeed you're watching it on the freephotoshop.com website. Now's the part I'm going to advise you to go ahead and fetch your sunglasses because the image I'm about to bring up on screen here is unbelievably bright and so much so that you're going to need protection. Believe me, it's for your own good. So when you're ready, I'll maximise the image and now you'll begin to see what I was referring to. This is an image called Lassoing Sunshine which consists of a filled circle and a number of sunbeams emanating from the sun. And by the way, this was originally drawn using vector shapes that I've since rasterised down to pixels. Anyhow, that's not important. What is important is that we're going to use the standard lasso and the polygonal lasso tools to select parts of this image. So let's start at the beginning. The lasso tools, all three of them over here in the toolbox, are selection tools, meaning that we can use them to select areas of our image and then apply effects and filters and so on to just those selected areas. And you can see what I mean as we proceed through the tutorial here. I'm going to start off by clicking and holding on the lasso icon over here in the toolbox and at which point we're going to get ourselves a drop down menu allowing access to the free selection tools. I'm going to go ahead and choose the first of the three which happens to be the standard lasso tool and I can select it as well if I wanted to by using the letter L on the keyboard should I wish to go about doing things that way. Now the way things work with the standard lasso is that it's one of those tools we need to drag to create a selection. So if I click and drag at this point and then move the cursor around on screen I'm going to create a basic freeform selection outline. When I release the mouse we'll automatically finish the selection and it really is as simple as that. I'm going to hit Control or Command D on the keyboard to deselect that area. Now even though the standard lasso is a real basic tool, it can come in really handy for selecting things like the sunbeams. So I'm going to zoom in a touch and then I'm going to drag around three of the sunbeams and as you can imagine, you have to be pretty careful with what you're doing, you have to be pretty accurate. But when we're done, we can just release and then we have those three sunbeams selected. To carry out the next step, you'll need to ensure that you have the sunbeams layer selected over here in the layers palette. Then I can hit Control or Command U on the keyboard to bring up the hue saturation controls. And as you can see, I can now change the hue value and affect only the selected sunbeams. So maybe a nice red colour will look just right here. I'll hit OK once I'm done selecting the colour to confirm the change. Alright, let's take a look at the second lasso tool which is the polygonal lasso tool. To access it I'm going to come back over here to the toolbox and then click the lasso icon and then select it from the little menu that we get here, the little flyout menu. This time instead of creating a freeform selection like we did with the standard lasso we're creating a straight sided selection outline something we could also refer to as a polygon. So to create our polygon, I'll simply click to set the first point, then I can release the mouse and then move to another location inside the image, click again to lay down a second point, release the mouse and move yet again, and then click for a third time. And so I'm creating basically, what I'm doing here is creating a series of corners every time I click, and they're joined by these straight segments. And then when I'm ready to complete the selection, when we've done enough of these corners and we're, we're ready to complete the selection outline, I can either join back up to the first point I created, and you'll see that little O appearing as it is on screen right now, which tells me that if I click, I'll join the selection. And that's a scenario that exists with all three lassos, by the way. The other way I can close it is to double left click to create a corner point and automatically join it to the original point like so. You could also have control or command clicks with the mouse and it would have done exactly the same job. 
So once again, I'm going to select three of these sunbeams. And by the way, if I hold down the shift key whilst I'm using the polygonal lasso tool, I'll constrain the angle of the segments to 45 degrees. And another thing, if I hit the delete key, I can delete the last corner point. If I wanted to remove the entire selection, I could press the escape key to delete the entire shape. However, I'll continue to click away to select these sunbeams. And when I'm back at the starting point, I'll just click here to complete the selection outline. And once again, I'll hit Control or Command U to bring up the hue, saturation, controls. And this time I'll move the hue slider over to the right in order to access something like a dark blue. And then I'll hit OK to accept that change. And then Control or Command D to deselect once again. OK, one last thing I want to do here, and that's to return those sunbeams I previously changed back to yellow. So I'll start off by selecting all of the sunbeams, which I can do with the standard lasso. So I'll hit L on the keyboard to switch to the magnetic lasso, and then again to revert back to the standard lasso. L, by the way, just cycles between the three available lasso tools. So now I have the standard lasso active. I'll start dragging around all of these sunbeams. And by the way, I can switch to the polygonal lasso tool in the middle of the selection by holding down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and then releasing the mouse and just clicking away like we usually would with the polygonal lasso. To switch back, we need to make sure we have the mouse button pressed and then just release the Alt or Option key. OK, I'm going to continue encircling the sun just like so until we reach the starting point of our selection. And then I'll release. Now I just want to amend the sun in this example, not that it would really matter, but I'm going to go ahead and deselect it from the selection, first of all by choosing the polygonal lasso tool, which is what we're going to use to get precise control over what turns out to be a fairly tight area in between the sunbeams and the sun. And then I'm going to come up here to the selection methods in the options bar, top left here of the screen and activating this third one along, which is our Subtract From Selection option. I'm going to be recording another tutorial based on some of these selection options, which I hope to have available here at the FreePhotoshop.com website in the coming weeks. For now, we can see that we're going to be subtracting from a selection because we have this little minus sign next to the cursor. And all I'm going to do here is to make a selection around the sun. And yes, I'm fully aware that we could do a better job by using the elliptical marquee tool. But remember, this is just an example. And by the way, remember when we were using the lasso tool and we managed to access the polygonal lasso tool whilst we were working away just a few moments ago? Well, we can do the reverse here. If I hold down the Alt or Option key and then drag, I get access to the standard lasso. If I then release Alt and the mouse, I return back to the polygonal lasso. Easy as that and comes in really, really useful sometimes. Anyhow, I'm going to continue encircling the sun, and once I'm done, I'll just click over the starting point, and we now have deselected the sun from the sunbeams, so we've got this area selected right here. Now I'll hit Control or Command U again, and this time I'm going to turn the Colorize option on, and then raise the saturation up to the maximum value like so. Finally, I'll make sure we have a hue value of 60 degrees, and then click OK. And there we have it, back to where we started. I'll hit Control or Command D once again to deselect the sunbeams, and that wraps up our look at the standard and polygonal lasso tools here inside Photoshop. Well, thanks as always for joining me here at FreePhotoshop.com. I'll see you next time.